50% of Americans dislike their jobs. That's a truly staggering number if you are part of this statistic but can't quit your job just now. I'll show you what successful people do when they're caught in a situation like this. My name is Johan Peterson and today I'll give you an approach that you can take if you hate your job but you can't quit just now. By the end of this video, your job might still suck but your mindset will have shifted. I'll walk you through 8 steps you can take if you want to make your job a more pleasant experience and have it grow towards something you'll really enjoy in the future. According to a recent study by SIPA, 50% of Americans dislike their jobs. Another recent study by Gallup points in the same direction. According to that study, only 34% of Americans are engaged in their jobs. Out of the 66% that aren't, 13% are actively disengaged, which means they're openly showing that they're unhappy. These numbers are mind-blowing. If you're part of this statistic, do what successful people do when they feel a dip in engagement. Take action. One small disclaimer. If your job is affecting your physical health, you should resign today. Our health is the most important thing we have. However, if your job sucks or you feel a dip in engagement, but you can't quit right now, shift focus away from the aspects of the job that you hate. Instead, put your energy into the opportunities that your job can provide. I mean, few, if any of us have the perfect job. Some of us took a job because we needed the money. Some of us have someone at work that are making things miserable for us. Some of us started a job that are no longer challenging us or are no longer what it used to be due to company changes. Whatever the reason is that made you dislike your job, shifting your focus can help you ignite a flame to keep you going until you're in a position where you can change jobs. Let's dive straight into the eight steps you should take right now. Assess the situation. Sit down and really reflect over why you're miserable at work. Really get to the core of it. Self-analysis like this can be really hard, but it's really important for your future happiness. This will help you identify and avoid companies and roles like this in the future that could potentially put you back in the same situation again. Build your skills. Start building skills to help you propel and move you towards a job that you're passionate about. If you don't know what your passion is, I'll leave a link down in the description to a video that will help you figure that out. Because you need to do that first. As an example, you can ask your boss to expose you to things that you know will be important in your next job. If you know you need leadership skills, ask your boss to put you in the company leadership training as that will add a lot of value both to you and the company. I would suggest you make a list of the skills that you know you need in a role that you would be passionate about. Then try to get exposure to those skills either through the company or on your own spare time. Build relationships. Start being mindful of building relationships at work and outside of work to expand your network. Does the company offer a mentorship program maybe? Or could you ask someone who's in a similar role to one you would aspire to, to mentor you? Also connect with company ERGs, employee resource groups, build connections, and stretch yourself by helping on their initiatives. Build your EQ. Look at all the hard conversations, painful changes, and terrible meetings at work as learnings. Disconnect any emotions from it and purely look at any learnings that you can draw from what goes on around you. By shifting your mindset and attitude to one of learning and personal growth, you can start building something that will be of massive importance for your future career. Set boundaries. Try making your job more bearable by talking to your manager and asking if any of the tasks that you load can be taken off of your plate. And if you're working a lot of overtime, stop. Experiment. Use the time that you have at work to try things and experiment. Even seek out opportunities where you can try new things or old things in a new way. Finding new ways of doing things can dramatically increase your confidence and influence at work. So look at all the things that you do and how you can find alternate ways of doing them. If nothing else, it will add learnings and build your experience. Set the goal. You should absolutely set the goal that you can work towards. So set the point in time when you should have built the skills and the network to successfully land a new job. Then hold yourself accountable to work towards that on a daily basis. You wanna take proactive steps to control your own happiness. Refresh your resume. As you start getting closer to your goal, make sure you rebuild your resume from scratch with the job you want next in mind. Think about your past career and education and how it can be valuable and applicable to your next employer. Then create a resume tailored to that. 
And then as the job surfaces, you can quickly adapt that resume and apply for that job. As you refresh your resume, it's also a good time to update your LinkedIn profile if you aren't doing that on a regular basis. I leave a link down in the description to a video that will help you set up your LinkedIn profile in a way that jobs will find you. And that means you have to do minimal work to find your next job. Start a side hustle. Starting a side hustle is not a step per se, but it's an additional action that you can take. It allows you to pursue your passion on the side and slowly build it up to a full-time job. I made a full video on this recently, and I'll leave a link down in the description to that video too. I would recommend you take a look at that straight after this video. I hope this video helps you shift mindset and attitude on your current job, and that you start working towards something that will ultimately make you happy. And please let me know down in the comments if you've taken any other actions that helped you in situations like this. I release videos like this to add value to your life and your career on a weekly basis. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos that will keep making you more valuable to your employer and also keeping you happy at work. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye.